Hey, welcome to New Start Discipleship. So glad you're here. Um, I want to encourage you today to uh, just really soak this passage. And, and here's what I want you to notice in Philippians chapter 1 through Philippians chapter 2, verse 18. Um, Paul talks about a life that's worthy of the gospel. And then in Philippians chapter 2, um, as, he, as he starts to kind of transition, he gives this beautiful unpacking of the person of Jesus and his humility. Uh, the word in Greek um, is, is sometimes they call this the kenosis passage because in, in Greek that word means the emptying. And it's as if Jesus, remaining fully God, emptied himself of, some, of his rights, right? His rights to be worshipped and praised and, and honored and recognized and be in heaven and be with the Father and not have the limitations and tiredness and pain of a physical body. But instead, he emptied himself of those rights and came down and became one of us. And a uh, beautiful, beautiful passage. Um, he says in chapter 2, the beginning of chapter 2, he says that, that this is, he said, you're going to have to make my joy complete by being like-minded. Now, what's he talking about? Well, in the church at Philippi where he was writing to, there were some people, probably at least a couple of ladies who had kind of gotten crossways with each other, okay? Uh, two, two ladies. He actually names them and calls them out and says, please, be of the same mind. And now, a little bit later on, he's giving them the pattern for how to get right with each other, right? Because we've been gotten right with God, so how do we get right with each other? And he says, you've got to, in humility, verse number three of chapter two, he said, you've got to, in humility, value others above yourselves. Wow. Not looking to your own interest, but each one of you to the interest of others. Just like Jesus. you got to have the same mind, the same mindset, the same attitude that Jesus had. And here's what he says, who being in very nature God. Okay, Jesus is God. Did not consider with equality with God something to be used to his own advantage or um, grasped and held on to, uh, a thing to be gotten for himself and held on to for himself. Uh, this is not meaning that, that he wasn't equal with God. It meant that he was, and he didn't feel like he needed to hold on to that. He humbled himself, it says, verse 7, that he made himself nothing. This is where it says the kenosis, that he emptied himself. He made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant and being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. So I want you to check to track this out. Okay, track this with me. So Jesus starts as equality with God. And then it says, he didn't consider that something to be held on to. But he made himself nothing. He emptied himself. And he took on the form of a servant. And was found in likeness as a man. Not even an angel, but a man. And then he humbled himself by becoming obedient, even to death, even death on a cross. So it's like this continual humbling and lowering of himself. And then it says, therefore God has highly exalted him. Right? So he's like he takes him back to the top. And given him the name that's above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and in earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. What's he talking about? Jesus set the pattern for us. He humbled himself so that we could be brought together and made unity, so that we could be brought back and made unified with God again. In the same way, we humble ourselves and God puts broken pieces and broken relationships back together again. Now, this may be good for you and somebody else in your church. It may be good for somebody else and you and somebody else in your home. It may be good for somebody else and you and your family or somebody at work. What is he saying? He's saying that if you want to have the same mind, the same attitude, the same mindset as Jesus, you got to humble yourself. Lay aside your rights. I know maybe they didn't treat you right, right? But Jesus didn't worry about that. He laid aside his rights, and then God lifted him up at the right time. In the same kind of way, as a new believer, there's going to be hard moments, but you've got to have that attitude. You've got to have that attitude. Humble yourself and let God take you back to the top. He'll do it. He'll do it in his time, in his way, at his season when it's right for you. All right? God bless you. See you tomorrow.